Hello and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our study of visual problem solving, Singapore style. And this is problem number VPS 5-4. We'll be using this worksheet. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our Singapore methods section under visual problem solving. And then once again, this is worksheet number VPS 5-4. Let's get started. Bernardo is five times older than Irma. Irma is five years older than Oswaldo. If the sum of their ages is 65 years, how old will Oswaldo be in seven years? Well, once again, this is a pretty complex problem. Um, we need to figure out how old Oswaldo will be in seven years. And we're gonna set up a model drawing once again to help us see this visually. So based on the information given, we could set up this model drawing below. We'll start off with Oswaldo. And you can see this clue up here that Irma is five years older than Oswaldo. So, so naturally, you'd think Oswaldo's age plus five, plus five here, would give you Irma's age. So Oswaldo's age plus five would be equivalent to Irma's age. So now we've got Oswaldo. And then we can compare it to Irma's age. And you can see now that with that extra five added on there, that Oswaldo's age would look the same as Irma's age when set up visually like this. Now we can go back to the previous clue. We're kind of working backwards once again. And you can see that Bernardo is five times older than Irma. So now we can set this up even further. So now visually you can see we have Irma's age. And you can see that Bernardo is one, two, three, four, five times older than Irma. Now we can check out this clue over here. If the sum of their ages is 65 years, so right there it says the sum of their ages, the sum of their ages is 65 years. Now, so all of these ages here all together would equal 65. However, since we had to add the five years on to Oswaldo's age to make it comparable or equivalent to Irma's age, we'd have to add on five years. Okay, so you can see originally it said that their ages, the sum of their ages would be 65. However, we had to add five on, giving us now a total age of 70 years so with that five added on. Now, we can move on to step two. You might be, be seeing a, um, a solution forming in your mind. Good for you if you're thinking that. So we'll go on to step two. So step two, visually we can see that seven parts equals 70. Okay, so now we've got, we've got seven equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, representing their ages, but now equals 70. Okay, so now it's equal to 70. You might be thinking, ah, we've got 70 and seven equal parts. So each part, each part must equal 10. And there's our calculation over there. 70 divided by seven would equal 10, definitely. Let's move on to step three. Step three, since Irma is five years older than Oswaldo, then 10 minus five would equal five. So if you took five years away from Irma's age, Oswaldo must be five years old. Oswaldo must be five years old, and that's 10 minus five equals five. So Oswaldo must be five years old. Did we answer our math job yet? Let's check it out. It says right here, how old will Oswaldo be in seven years? We've got that extra bit of information there. How old will he be in seven years? Well, we know now that Oswaldo is five years old. 
so we can move on to step four. And if you're, you're thinking you know the answer, good for you. Step four. In seven years, Oswaldo will be, well, we know his age is five now. And then seven additional years there. So five plus seven would equal 12. So you can see that 12. And Oswaldo will be 12 in seven years since five plus tw seven equals 12. And once again, did we answer our math job? Let's see. If the sum of their ages is 65 years, how old will Oswaldo be in seven years? Hmm, check it out. Absolutely. Our answer is Oswaldo will be 12 years old in seven years. That was another look at visual problem solving Singapore style using Singapore methods from the Singapore curriculum. Thank you for checking out worksheets and walkthroughs.com and we'll see you again next time. And